These days, communication operates by means of optical signals. Communication security is an important aspect, and that's why work like that on quantum communication is basically something that also has a societal impact. My name is Arno Rauschenbeutel. I'm an experimental physicist and work in the field of experimental quantum optics. At the moment, we're still trying to optimize this interface between light and material and, to some extent, to understand it. He is one of the leading international researchers in the field of quantum optics a field in which almost everything seemed to be understood until Arno Rauschenbeutel sprang a surprise. For over a year, he and his team were unable to understand what they had achieved with their tests. Then it was clear. The quantum optics toolbox had been extended. We couple atoms with light, assisted by nanophotonic structures, for example, ultra-thin glass fibers in which the light is confined by means of total reflection. And thanks to these structures, we can control the coupling very well and also enhance it, meaning that we can achieve a very efficient interaction of light and matter. Light is well suited for sending information, although it is difficult to store and control. This is precisely where Arno Rauschenbeutel and his team come in. In a special process, the diameter of normal glass fibers is reduced a hundredfold. It becomes thinner than the wavelength of the light guided therein, which consequently is guided not only in the fiber, but also outside of it. In this region, individual atoms can be coupled, as a result of which they are also connected to the light conducted through the glass fiber. These atoms can now be controlled and manipulated. The great success was that we managed to trap the atoms near the glass fibers in a highly controlled way using the light in them. We were the first and, for a number of years, the only ones to achieve that. In the meantime, the team has made significant progress. For example, by testing how the coupling changes when the direction of the light changes. The result? When the light comes from the opposite direction, the atom is no longer coupled. In this way, light can be controlled and virtually be switched on and off. The effect lends itself to process information with the help of the light. These observations contradicted the theoretical predictions for quite a while. I was very lucky in that I had colleagues who believed in their data, rather than the theory that was held to be correct at the time. Experimental quantum optics is largely about teamwork. So it comes as no surprise that a large section of Arno Rauschenbeutel's team is going to follow him to Germany. To do this work, I believe you must enjoy working with equipment, with lasers, with complicated machinery, and you have to enjoy solving problems that we wouldn't really have if we didn't carry out the experiments. Arno Rauschenbeutel is going to relocate from TU Wien Atominstitut in Vienna to Humboldt Universität in Berlin. His arrival will be the starting point for a joint lab in which the Institute for Physik, Iris Adlershof, and non-university research institutions, such as the Ferdinand Braun Institute, share their equipment and expertise so that they can continue to advance their research together. The opportunities that are available to me here are, of course, fantastic. There's an unbelievable infrastructure and we have the opportunity to use devices that we would otherwise never get close to again. And so I'm looking forward to it very much. That means what one would elsewhere first have to acquire in long, long research and learning work over several years Thanks to the cooperation with my colleagues, all I have to do now is access it. His main abiding passion, however, is teaching. Class times C plus. 
Es kommt immer wieder vor in One common occurrence in lectures is that when I explain the punchline of the subject matter to students, I get goose pimples. I still get them to this day and I believe that my enthusiasm for my work is communicable to others. Sich auch überträgt. Also für mich ist genau das Well, for me this is precisely what drives me that I'm talking to someone after a PhD and I notice that it's on an equal footing. He or she isn't a student anymore, they're a colleague.